today we're going to Rotterdam. Here is your ticket. So we've made it on the train. Gio there and his new sweatshirt. And we're going to Rotterdam today. It's about an hour away from here. Apparently, this station, uh, the old station was destroyed during World War II. It only says Central Station, it doesn't say Rotterdam. It's the only station in the Netherlands that doesn't say the name of the city. Why? Because the people of Rotterdam think if you're here, you know where you are. Like, are like us right now, we know we're in Rotterdam. There's no need for, there's no need to write the uh, name of the uh, city. Station. Yeah, it only says Central Station, as you can see from behind me. So they've kept the typeface. I don't know if it's the same letters or the same uh, 3D thing from back then. I don't think so. It looks newer. And this is the lovely Rotterdam. want to show you guys our Airbnb before we uh, settle in and uh, you know make it a bit crowded oh wow <laughs> so this penthouse apartment is uh, how much is it for per night uh, 250 euros a night yeah still cheaper than Amsterdam so we've got one bedroom here I've got another bedroom here, that's my bedroom over here, I already, I'm already taking this one. So I'm gonna need some time to get used to the height over here. And there's a kitchen over here. So good evening from the lovely and cold Rotterdam second largest city in uh, the Netherlands, I guess. It's pretty cold today as well. Rotterdam this evening is buzzing compared to Eindhoven. We've got the Christmas decorations happening. We've got the people, we've got tourists. <laughs> We're staying at this uh, building over there. It's actually, this is the our balcony, you know? Yeah, the top last balcony is our balcony. If you guys can see it from here, I don't know. But yeah, it's kind of like, it's like, it's cold down here, but it's like 19 times colder up there. <laughs> Stroop off all this time, yeah. So soft and thin. And crispy. I can't eat mine. You can see my bite size got bigger here. I dug in like real deep from the first bite.
morning in Rotterdam. Uh, it's Sunday. It's one degree Celsius with a real feel of minus five degrees. It's really cold. Rotterdam is uh, still waking up. We've got a lovely Christmas tree over here. The shops are still closed. So what's interesting about this building is uh, you have some residential units up here and you have the market thing inside and there's a contrast between the cathedral over there and these new buildings it's because of uh, World War II Rotterdam was massively destroyed so they had to uh, reconstruct so that's why you see a lot of 50s uh, style buildings this building over there is called the pencil building because it, uh, it's shaped like a pencil, obviously. If I'm not mistaken, this is where the Rotter River used to flow and uh, and uh, yeah, flooded uh, Rotterdam. I could it could be mistaken, but uh, it's paved like that. So the cube houses are uh, residential uh, unit blocks that are actually livable. I don't know if that's the word. So that's the Art Nouveau building. It's a it's an Art Nouveau style building that survived World War II. It's called the Wheat House. This one over there. Oh no! <laughs> oh wow! What's going on here? Good morning! Who's Martin? If you guys know, please write us in the comments. They are two moves then. I'm guessing it's the cartoonist. Okay, that's it. Things you learn every day. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, the name of this place. I don't know if Gio wants to pronounce it. It's Depot something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very hard name to pronounce. Wait. Let's see if I'll find the name written somewhere or, or typed somewhere. Then I'll try and read it. But that's the the building. Weirdly shaped, like everything else is, like all the buildings in, in Rotterdam are. Where are we? Where am I? Oh, there am I. Can I sit with me? In this building, the house was of the poor boy man's van, Bon Lingen Applaus. Whoa. So this is an interactive uh, wall art. You can get on the stairs there and take part. It feels very Christmassy over here. A Ben and Jerry's, no way. I haven't seen a Ben and Jerry's store in so long. Oh wow. 
but like the last thing I feel like having right now is ice cream. Uh, space Invaders was here. Okay, so although we don't like shooting ourselves eating, but I wanted to show you what we ordered from uh, Punjabi food, Indian food. We got uh, vegetable biryani over here. We got samosa. We've got uh, butter chicken. Uh, some garlic and cheese uh, naan bread. And some dips. And some dips that go with it. Day three in Rotterdam. This morning we're gonna go to a, a stationary place to. Gio wants to get some paint. We're next to the Maritime Museum. And the lovely, lovely artistic sculptures of Rotterdam. It says in 1953, I don't know something. Probably something to do with World War II. Probably. The weather is beautiful today, it's sunny. So Gio's getting his art supplies from Van Beek. But I noticed something over there. Let me, let's go check it out. An apple, like the apple, very old uh, Apple Max. Look at that. Oh wow, these are like from the, the year 2000. The IMAX, whoa. So I think we're gonna go to Gouda today. And go to the Gouda Cheese Museum. Why? Because we love Gouda Cheese. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know, I don't even remember or recall what, what which one's the Gouda Cheese. It's the yellow the, cheese. The, We'll taste it today. So we've got this uh, open street market we're gonna check out right now. We've got fabrics, a selection of fabrics. You know, if you're looking to do your own wedding dress, handbands, headbands, handbands, buttons, threads. All kinds. <laughs> weird looking fabric with weird textures. But we can say you've got textures of all kind, all colors. All cultures, all, all prints. Yeah, as well. We've got the market hall right behind here. I don't know why the crowds. Oh, this is the food section. That's why. That explains the crowd at the food section. We've got purses. They all seem like they're copies. Phone covers, iPad covers, uh, bed sheets, pillows, duvet covers. Uh, these things, I don't know what these are. Bags, trolley bags. Trolley bags, light bulbs. Camera stuff, electrical stuff. Got batteries. Sanitary stuff. Watches all of a sudden. Gold all of a sudden. We have perfume. Deodorant, green and red jeans. <laughs> Specifically. I don't know why, with those shades. And I think that's the fruit section over there. Fruits. Actually, this time I'm shooting with the sunlight. So we can get a better footage, clearer image. clearer image. So we've got, again, this is the biggest painting in the world, supposedly, on the ceiling. We've got residential units inside this building. And this building used to be a uh, 
a fish, uh, fish market, fish and poultry market, vegetables back in the day. But it's become a, uh, a fancy outdoor slash indoor mall kind of open street food. Got nuts, cheese. If you want, you can try the Gouda cheese here and save us the trouble of going there. <laughs> Bakery, pizza, pasta, Chinese food, duck. This weird chocolate place, frozen yogurt. And we've got Stroopwafels. A Christmas tree. <laughs> and a fish and chip shop. Um, that's it basically. This is Market Hall. The place we've been to like all th about three times so far. And now we come out from the other side. It's a bit noisy here, so let's turn you off. Or maybe we can enjoy the view for a bit. I feel like this tower up there is missing a piece from top. I don't know what the deal with that is. The weather is lovely today. We're thinking of going to Gouda, the town of Gouda, where the Gouda cheese was created. There's a Gouda cheese uh, museum in the, mar in the square, the market square hall, something of the town. town hall. The town hall, something, yeah. It's a very old historic building. We wanted to do Dordrecht, but uh, when I compared either Dordrecht or Gouda, I thought Gouda has a more interesting story to tell. And the photo seemed uh, very Amsterdam-ish, let's say. So, so Rotterdam is in the middle. Uh, is at equal distance from Dordrecht and uh, Gouda. Both cities will have to take the train for 16 minutes and pay around seven dollars for one way. So because this town is famous for its cheese, they do cheese markets. And uh, they used to have water around it. Which is in the 1668 building. So they're saying in 1669 this place was completed. And they had to weigh the cheese using these scales. This is old cheese, more than uh, one year. They sell the cheese in Portugal, Spain. So this was food up. 